Tom Brady told Julian Edelman in the crowd that was potentially listening or in the room in the group chat, he said, uh, Julian's not retiring. He was just too scared to tell Bill. And then Tom goes, I've been there. Yeah. You know? And Julian's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Julian basically the entire time was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And he was like, I guess I'll talk to Kevin Hart. Everybody else was like, yeah. So it's uh, Tom Brady, Kevin Hart, Mark Wahlberg, Michael Strahan, Kay Adams, Deion Sanders, and Julian Edelman down there at the bottom. And I do believe the way this particular conversation was going was it was a six-on-one as well. Oh, yeah. It was a, hey, Julian, you're just going to do exactly what Gronk did. You're going back down to Tampa. What are we even talking about? The injury is cool, Gronk. Gronk had the same thing, and then he did a CBD press conference. He came back to life again. And, and Tom Brady even chimes in and goes, now nah, he's just scared to tell Bill he's going to come down to Tampa or whatever. If Julian does that, okay, if Julian, after the Foxborough Forever shirts. Oh, man. <laughs> do you think the New England Patriots fans will hate him forever? That's what people think. I, if he doesn't go and join Tampa, I think he's an idiot. Like, if he feels yeah. good, if his knee feels good and he feels healthy, he knows that offense. Him and Tom make magic together for whatever reason. Gronk's down there. Another weapon to that offense. He wouldn't have to play. Wouldn't wouldn't need him for 40 snaps a, ga- a yeah. game, 30 snaps a game with everybody else. Just need you, you know, third down, red zone, whenever Julian Edelman really makes his money. Like, let's go ahead and do that. That makes sense to us. He did not say no to it last night. I, I, no. I, 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 and Tom Brady's not pressing him publicly if Tom Brady thinks there's no chance of him coming back, right? Tom would be in that moment, you would think, a surprise a friend like no his knee you know we wish julian could he's come happy back. yeah but instead he was like nah he's fucking yeah he's coming, back. Hey, he's coming we are gonna get him down if mike greenberg ba in light in this beautiful city of tampa bay figure out how to get julian edmund on that team where he can only play like what however many games he has to play that yeah. matter which they can do with that team obviously everybody it's tom brady by the way that's what tom brady and that's why it's not bill belichick julian said get me the fuck out of here i'll go play with tom brady that's what everybody's gonna say as a patriots fan that has to be heartbreaking to hear i mean foxborough forever <laughs> he can kiss the hall of fame goodbye no! i'm not fucking <laughs> pushing that anymore but even if he is playing six games him telling scotty miller like hey by the way this is what brady likes when you're doing this do this like him as just the even in a teaching role, I feel like benefits the Why Bucks. is Julian Edelman so good, DB? Uh, savvy. Savvy. He, he's he's tough as he's tough as shit with that ball in his hands. Good 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 after the catch. Um and always kind of got to the right spot. The Hall of Fame conversation immediately upon him retiring. <laughs> right away. <laughs> then Heinz Ward was trending, I think. Uh-huh. Whenever that whole thing happened. They were like Okay, but before we even talk about Julian, let's talk about all these other wide receivers. It is a stats position. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is a stats position. But I feel like at some point, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road, the Hall of Fame is going to have different requirements for different things. There might be different levels of things. I think they're going to start letting more in. And Julian Edelman has so many moments in the NFL on the greatest dynasty in the history of the NFL. Big stage. I would assume he's going to be in the conversation for a long, long time. Yeah, him and Phil Rivers, I feel like those were the two discussions. 17 years is yeah, quarterback. Phil has, doesn't have the postseason, and that's why everyone's bashing him. And Edelman does have the postseason, but the, he doesn't have like the big regular season stats yeah. the other guys have. So it's just like the opposite well, argument this what, for both. This is what Sanchez said. Sanchez said they're going to be pissed off either way and that's the world that we live in uh you're good in in regular season not good in playoffs oh you're only good in playoffs you're not good in regular season okay so we just don't like them is that what we're saying you just don't like them oh we're gonna make up anything to say it's a lie because you could have just said on the other side of that he has some of the biggest moments in the history of our sport but instead you said that doesn't matter you didn't play in regular season if you hate somebody you hate somebody and that's why it's such a beautiful thing i guess that's why all these conversations uh always take on a life of their own (laughs)